Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Living Well with Terrell, the place where we develop the mind, soul, and the body on a communal level. And today we're going to be addressing the aspect of the mind and the body. Um, we're going to be doing a little, something a little different today. I'm actually going to do my first ever story time, and it's going to be about the time um, I tried an edible. And I just want to throw a little disclaimer out there in the video. I am in no way, shape, or form promoting the usage of drugs. And maybe after hearing my story, you may not ever want to do drugs or take an edible. <laughs> but before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe and share, comment. We work on spiritual, physical, and mental growth here on a communal level. That's what we do. If this is your first time seeing me, hit that subscribe button, join our family, and initiate your journey of self-development. Okay, you guys know how I start off all the videos. I'm going to let y'all know how I'm feeling. And then if you want to, you're welcome to let me know how you're feeling in the comments. Today is a good day for me. Um, I wanted to get out and be, in, and be in nature. So as you can see, we have a new setting. I'm in my backyard right now by the bonfire area and I'm just chilling, you know, being at peace, being at ease, just like releasing all of the busy energy out of my mind. I just feel like I need to relax and chill out. So that's how I'm feeling today. Comment and let me know how you're feeling today. All right, let's start into this video. Oh, by the way, don't come at me for not having AirPods. I just wanted to make sure I gave y'all the best audio quality. So I, I used my headphones because I knew I was going to be outside. Anyway, I'm going to start off the video. Okay, so this was, uh, when was this? Okay, when was this? What year was this? This was 2017, the year 2017. I think I was a, a sophomore, first semester, sophomore in college. And um, <laughs> I... <laughs> Okay, so I went to the movies earlier that day. I was hanging out with a group of friends. Shout out to all the homies. Y'all know who y'all are. Um, we went to go see a movie. And um, I forget what movie it was. But anyway, we went to go see a movie. And after we got back from seeing the movie, uh, it, was this, it was this girl on campus. I'm not going to drop her name. But it was this girl on campus selling edibles. And everybody was saying how her edibles were hidden and this, that, and all of that. And mind y'all, I wasn't a person like, I, I'm not a smoker. And like, Prior to even coming to college, I didn't smoke. I didn't really even drink. Um, so anyway, they said that these edibles were very potent. As y'all, If y'all know about edibles, y'all know edibles are intense anyway. They're just like a whole different experience. I categorize edibles as psychedelics. I don't care what nobody says, and that's just flat out. Anyway, um, so she had these red velvet cupcakes, like edibles. Okay, so I'm like, okay, cool. I ordered one. I hit her on GroupMe. I'm like, if y'all don't know what GroupMe is, it's an app where... Most college students use it. A lot of finessing going on. Me and a group getting answers. That's what one of my friends said. It's funny. Um, but uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. So I get this edible from her. And it's like this small little red velvet cupcake. And I'm like, okay, you know, this little ass thing. I'm like, whatever. This is not going to be nothing to me. You know, um, get the edible. I have my homie, my homie, well, my best friend at the time, who's still my homie now, my best friend at the time, I was going to share it with him because he, he smokes, you know what I'm saying? He smokes a lot. And I know that if I want to be doing it with anyone, I want to be doing it with him because uh, I would feel more safe. Like he can control the situation a little better. So I buy it and he's still in like, he's like 20 minutes away. I take half of it because, you know, they say you, you take half, you chill out and you take half. And I was going to give the other half to him. So I eat it and it tastes so good. Y'all, when I tell you this edible, I didn't even taste no weed. Like I could smell it a little bit. It was like an undertone, like smell like an under scent. And I smelled it, but like I didn't taste no weed. It just tastes like a, a fine red velvet cupcake. So I eat it and I'm like, OK, ain't nothing happen. And my roommate at the time. He was a smoker and a drinker. He was funny. Shout out to Kay. He is hilarious. So um, he wasn't there initially, but after I, <laughs> after I had eaten it, um, <laughs> some time went by. In my mind, I felt like maybe, I don't know. I felt like maybe 20 minutes had, had went by, like 20 minutes. So I'm like, man, my homie's taking all day, nothing happened. So I'm like, I'm going to eat this other half because, you know, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And then I literally just took a little piece off of it. Like my higher consciousness was like, don't do it, bro. Like, just chill out. You know, you're not even about this life. So literally, I'm sitting there on my bed and I'm just chilling. And the next thing you know, like, I promise y'all, you know how in the movies when like it just go like, Doom? like, I can't like it's, like it's like a sound effect and you just like snap out. So I literally just like enter this whole like, I don't know, I can't even explain it, but it's like I damn near like 
went into a different little dimension. I can't explain it, but it was weird. I just knew shit was getting real. Like, at that moment, I had known that I fucked up. So I was like, whew. Okay, so I'm like, just relax, relax. So I just started eating. I started eating a whole bunch of food. And then I started drinking, like, um, I had this this drink from Sonic, so I kept drinking. It was like a, what was it? I think it was a slushy. I can't remember. But yeah, I had this drink from, from Sonic. It was really good. So I'm eating everything, and I'm getting so hungry. And, like, I'm getting caught in my mouth. My mouth is getting so dry. So then I FaceTime my homie. I'm like, bro, where you at? Yada, yada, yada. Like, you know, I'm waiting for you. Come take this show with me because I was low key scared, but I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to say that I was, I was afraid. So, um, the next thing you know, my roommate walks in, he looks at me, and he just started laughing. It's like he's like Terrell, he's like, because <laughs> he would do that. He's like, oh my god, my eyes are like bloodshot red. And if I can find a picture, I'll come back and insert it in here. I know it's on my Snapchat memory. My eyes were so red. And I was so scared. So he just looks at me. He starts cracking up laughing. He's like, just looking at me. This dude is just looking at me laughing. And I'm just sitting there like, I is not a laughing matter. I'm like, I'm sitting here like scared for my life. But I didn't want him to like, I didn't want to start freaking out. So I was just dead silent. Like I was, I didn't say anything to him. And I was just like staring. Like I was literally just in the zone. And he knew something was wrong with me. So then like, okay, I'm going to tell y'all this like. I kind of like I was watching myself from third person, like anonymous, like literally like omniscient, like damn near omniscient, like third person omniscient view. And I saw myself in my room sitting in my bed and I saw what I was doing. But and then I saw my roommate kind of like freaking out. And he Well, he wasn't freaking out, but he was being concerned for me. And I wanted to tell him that, you know, I'm good. I'm just high, but I'm scared. But I couldn't. It's like I was stuck in that third person perspective and I couldn't jump back into first person and let my roommate know that, OK, I'm tripping. Da, 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 da. So I was stuck like I was literally just stuck. But I was stuck from third person watching myself like that. If that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, um, time goes by. And OK, a big thing about me, y'all, I am like I'm a, I'm a conspiracy, like, freak, fanatic. So, in my mind, I felt like, you know, I already believe we're in a simulation. So, I feel like that attributed to it. Um. Anyway, I started freaking out. Like, I thought my roommate was out to get me. And I'm like, I kind of, I don't know. It's like, mm, the best way to explain it is that I didn't, I wasn't seeing, okay, mm. I had two sets of vision. I was seeing through these eyes and then I was seeing through like a different like source of vision. And like that, that perspective, that vision, it was like um, a panel, like literally like a control panel. And it was like all darkness around me. And it was a control panel. That was that sight, that vision. And then I had my, you know, these eyes. But I was looking, I could, mm, I was experiencing them both at the same time, if that makes any sense. Like I could see all this at one time. And then like I noticed that the, um, the panel Okay, this is going to sound crazy. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. I'm keeping it real with y'all. It was crazy. So the panel was igniting, like certain controls on the panel will highlight, you know, ignite. And they will be, cor they will be correlating with what I would do with this eyesight and this body, this mind, whatever. So like I would be walking. To, I got up and walked to my door and like, you know, open the door to go get some air. And like with my other set of vision, I could see like these panels, like different buttons lighting up and stuff like that it, it's weird you got yo it's so complex to explain but i was really like tripping hard so then um yeah so after that i kind of like my 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 best friend my homie at the time he came and he he came into my dorm because i stayed in the dorms at the time so it, i opened the door for him and he just looked at me and started laughing he was like oh my god like at that like he, he had already known that i was in like a bad place and he was trying to calm me down but i was too high and i couldn't and i was freaking out and he was like just relax relax so then i started eating some food like some chicken chicken tenders little chicken tenders from <laughs> Yeah, and then I ate the food and I started choking. Like I, <laughs> like I was choking, but I was choking on nothing because like 
And when I tell y'all I was panicking, like it was one of those chokings where I felt like somebody was strangling me, but I was choking on the food and I was sitting there eating it and I kept feeding myself while I was choking. And my homie, he just looked at me and he started cracking up laughing, like he started crying. But I was serious and I felt like I was in danger. Like I literally felt like someone was choking me. But at the same time, I was doing it to myself, but I couldn't stop feeding myself. So I was just, it was all bad, yo. Like it was all bad. <laughs> It was so bad. So then um he he helps me and I just started drinking like some of my my drink. I drank the drink and, and I started feeling a little better. But then I started getting very paranoid still and I'm like, oh my god, I just want to be normal. I just want to be normal. Like I'm never doing this again. I'm never getting high again. Edibles are evil, they're evil. Because I couldn't get out of my head. It was like, how do you say? Eh. Like eh. hmm. It was like everyone was out to get me. So then fast forward time, I try to go to sleep. My homie, he ends up leaving and my roommate and I are still in the room. So I wake up and I get to looking at my roommate and he didn't look, he didn't look human to me. I'm not going to say he didn't look human, but he looked human. But the whole concept of a human figure or representation was scary to me. Like I felt like he was like some type of parasite or something like that. You know, like I felt like, I don't know, like I was really out of it. So I felt like. I felt like I was in like some type of reality and everyone was trying to trick me into thinking that, you know, this whole thing is real. But in reality, none of this was real. And everyone in my life, they were all like these characters that were like um, perpetuating like the facade of reality for me. And I felt like my roommate was in on this big game, this big gimmick. It reminds me of that movie. And I actually saw that movie after I had this experience, which is crazy. But it's called the... um. The Norman show, the something show, something where this guy is with Jim Carrey and he realizes that, you know, his whole life is fake. And the Truman show, the something Truman show or something like that. Anyway, off topic. So um, I'm looking at my roommate and he's scaring me because he looks like this creature. And he keeps trying to talk to me to like calm me down and reassure me. And to me, it was just like, ah, that what you, that's what you want me to think, you know. And I felt like he was. Ooh, I hope y'all can see that. But. I felt like he was just playing his role and I felt like he was trying to like get me to like to like um keep 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 believing and keep feeling like um everything is real and I'm just freaking out because he was trying to reassure me and in my mind I'm like oh this is what you want you're trying to get me but you can't trick me you can't fool me so then I, I I'm a, okay I'm an aggressive person it may not seem like it via YouTube but I, I can be you know an aggressive person so I, I'm like getting confrontational with him so then he's like no 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 calm down Terrell he's like let's go for a walk let's go for a walk he's like you need some air and at this moment I'm freaking out like I'm seeing all my homies in my dorm I'm walking out and I remember I'm seeing this guy named Daniel and uh, David I saw both of them and then they were looking like bro you okay Okay, and I'm just like high as fuck and I'm trying to just act normal so bad and I'm just looking at them like are they in on it too like everybody was questionable at this point so then I'm walking out and me and my, my roommate and I we're getting air we're getting air and I'm trying to like relax and relax and the air is kind of helping me but when I tell you I could feel every fucking air molecule hitting my body it was so crazy like my senses were heightened su supremely like I'm not even tripping even when I ate the food I taste every ingredient in the chicken tender in the sauce like i believe in that moment if you would have gave me a pen and a pad i could have written all that shit down give me the crabby patty give me the crabby patty i'll bite it and i could have told you everything that was in that shit <laughs> no cap, bro. so anyway i come back to my dorm and i calmed down a little bit at this moment and i just sat there i, I literally couldn't do anything but sit and i just kept thinking that life is not real and i was i was terrified fried i was fried for sure but I was terrified and I'm, ooh, I was definitely terror fried because I was so baked, I was scared. I'm gonna use that, I like that. I coined that term, you heard it first here. I was so high that I was so baked that I was like tripping. And I'm like, oh my God, I was so sad because I am such a person that I believe that everything in life happens for a reason. And I feel like we all have our own destinies and our own purposes. And you know, I, I, I just attract or I label so much meaning to life I feel like life is so meaningful and for me to realize that nothing mattered because that was the entire like epiphany I had during my trip like nothing mattered to me like I found out that life wasn't real and life didn't matter and for someone like me that was devastating and I, I was like I don't care if it's fake I don't care if it's a facade like put me back in the matrix type shit it's pitiful but, you know, like in that moment, I wouldn't do that today, obviously. But in that moment, I was so freaked out. I was like, I don't care. I just want to go back to normal. You know, I want everything to go back to how it was and stuff like that. I was really tripping. So 
Um, moments pass by. My roommate ends up going to sleep. I go back outside. I started walking around campus just trying to get some air, like trying to calm myself down. And I try to meditate to relax myself. And I was so like far gone. Then like I remember just like closing my eyes and meditating and just like, I don't know, like I felt so free in a sense. And I felt like I was tapping into like my cosmic energy. You know what I'm saying? Like I felt like I, I was expansive. Like I felt like I just occupied so much space. I don't know if I was just connecting to everything and being connected to like, you know, the source energy, but like I literally was so expansive and I felt so limitless. It was a good feeling and it kind of like sobered me up a bit. So after I did that, um, I went back to my dorm, went to sleep, woke up the next day, still high, not as high, but I was still high. Like, let's say like I was hot boxing or something. That's how high I was. And just that whole day I was high. Like, and I remember going to the cafe, getting some food and stuff like that. I saw my homegirl, Lauren, shout out to Lauren. And uh, she had, um, gotten, cause I think I hyped it up to her and she had gotten one too. And she was high in the calf. Like, and she was just like, but obviously she was taking it much better than I was. Um, anyway. I remember just being high and I had to talk to all my friends. I had to talk to my homie at the time and tell him like, dang, bro, I'm so sorry. Da, da, da. He was just cracking up my roommate. I had to apologize to him and everything like that because I was getting like OD aggressive with him and stuff like that. But yeah, man, that was the time that I, the first, uh, excuse me. That was the time that I had taking an edible and that was my trip and it was crazy. It was absolutely insane um uh, if you guys enjoyed this story time let me know i'll do more story times i plan to do more i want to incorporate a few different things into the channel but i feel like it's good to sometimes just talk about experiences and not have like a you know a full on a full on <clears throat> bam lecture i feel like i be lecturing sometimes like i feel like i hop on here sometime and i connect with y'all and i lecture anyway um yeah so be sure to subscribe I think I'm at 710 subscribers and I'm trying to hit a thousand before the year is over. So we got 30 days, guys. Subscribe to me. Share my content with your friends. Um, if you're new here, check out my latest video. Um, if you enjoy the video, share it with a friend, share it with a family member. If you just want to be a part of a community that inspires growth, reflection and determination, you, you're just at a point where you just want to be a better person. You in your life and you just want to be better. You want to figure out what is it, what it is that you're doing wrong and how can you fix it. Come on, bro. How can you fix it and move forward with your life? Um, this is the place for it. I was looking at the, it looked like the time stopped. Okay, but yeah. So, as promised, I will be, as promised, I will be uploading a video once a week. And that is what I'm sticking to. Consistency is my name. A consistent king I am. So look forward to seeing my face next week. I'm going to do at least one video a week. I may start doing multiple videos a week. It depends on um, how I'm feeling because, you know, if I get blessed with the energy to just come on here and chop it up with y'all, I'm going to chop it up with y'all. And that's just facts. Uh, other than that, it's been real and I will see y'all soon. Peace.